We're back in the kitchen now with Liz Bouchon, who is making Grandma Cleese from scratch chocolate angel food cake. Wow, yes. so it's a mouthful. mouthful. That is a mouthful. I know. <laughs> and you have no idea. It was so funny because it came out of the oven, and I so wanted to grab a piece off. Yes. But I'm trying to be good. She's trying to be good. Yes. She's well, like a kid in a candy store. Thanks. I know. She really so is. Fun. It's been years since oh. we've been able to have this cake. Well, and I must admit, my cake is not as tall as grand grandma's. Okay. But but you said that's probably because of the farm fresh eggs. Farm it fresh really eggs. makes a difference. It really makes a difference, yes. Okay. So we had the cake baked and you know we, we flipped it upside down on a cooling rack and let it set. Now your your grandma used to use a coke, coke bottle. Yep. And put that underneath there and you could set it like that. Yep. But we have little footers on the Angel Food cake pan now so you can set it and it's not gonna you know, unless Perfect. your cake is really, really, really high, like hers was, then you would probably put it on a Coke bottle or and something. And I can remember that. Yeah, and not a plastic on a, bottle, but a Coke bottle. A, co a glass yeah, one. Glass yeah. would be glass. important. Yeah. Plastic glass, glass, would not work. No. Yes. And you were just okay. describing this layer you put on here right now. And I, mm -hmm. I learned something today. Talk yeah. about that a little That's, bit. That's uh, called crumb coating. A lot of the bakers do that. And what it does, it just catches all the loose crumbs. Mm -hmm. It's a thin layer of frosting. And then after that hardens just a little bit, then you take and make you know you can actually frost it but I want to show you how to do this technique and okay I've heard it called different things but uh, I'm gonna call it a pedal technique and it's so easy and so fun you use a tip number 12 tip okay and you start with um, a blob well let me do it on this end okay you start with like about a mm, quarter size icing look like dollar. a little Hershey's kisses there yeah Okay, oh, that has an air pocket in it but that's okay you can fill that in then you take a spatula or a back of a spoon Start in the middle and you pull it out like that. Okay. And you pull it out and you pull it out. And then you do. And you do that all the way all around the cake. Yes. I and wanted to take you to frost that. Oh, not very long because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you just get into it. You just get into the swing of doing it. Look at that cute. That is cute. And that is a beautiful cake. I love it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do it on the cake. Uh, I guess I'll start back here and then. And I'm going to let you go ahead and continue that okay. technique and the frosting part. And then we're going to come back at the end of the show and we're going to taste your cake. I'm <gasps> so excited. You haven't even tried I haven't it. Tried it yet. It's going to be so much fun. I, know, and I hope it's good. So great because we have the three shades of red guys over there. Oh, yeah. They're just watching yeah. they this can't technique. Wait. And we're going to hear them play <laughs> coming up here right after the break. For more on this recipe and instructions, you can check out lizbouchong.com. Three Shades of Red, up next. Coming up next.